So you remember this thing from my last video on the Peltier that I used to cool the SSD. Yes, this is the old one. Well, and there's a weight here, but there's another thing right here. And you can see there's some kind of icing formation happening here. Let me zoom in here. You can see there's ice on here. So <clears throat> this is the new Peltier that I got. This is just too weak. Um, after playing around with it for a little bit, I've noticed this is just uh, doesn't get cold enough. And the problem is SSDs require a lot more uh, cooling than just a few few, uh, cent, few Celsius degrees drop. It's just not enough to, to correct uh, errors. Uh, so I got this bottom one here. This one here is using 240 watts. It gets to almost minus 10. It does require its own power supply, which is right here. And these enormous three cooling fans. There's three fans here and a huge heat sink with uh, heat pipes. So let's see uh, what happens when I hit start. I've already done this area a few times, so there might not be so much correction in this area, but uh, Let's get started and see what happens. So you can see now it's correcting some of the previous errors I haven't done before. This is probably like the fourth pass I'm doing here. So I've done this before. What I'm saying is uh, previously these errors were not readable. Now they are. So this drive will require multiple passes. Uh, but it's doing all right. Uh, <clears throat> when it gets further into the drive, it's going to read a lot better. You're going to see huge chunks of, of these green ECC area, areas that, are, that will be red. Um, now, this setup is still not, not finished. It still needs um, some changes. Right now, uh, let me lift this uh, Peltier off of this. I'm using thermal pads. These are the thermal pads that I'm using. Uh, but I am considering to use uh, some sort of uh, thermal compound. So you can see on the bottom, there's a uh, one huge thermal pad. But the SSD is really cold. Like it's it's. Uh, you can see this this is this pellet here gets super cold. Uh, the only problem is now is just getting uh, the right thermal compounds to be in between the SSD and the pellet here. And the reason I'm using the top pellet here is to kind of. Um, give the extra cooling from the top. I don't know if it makes a difference, but uh, it might, who knows. Uh, but this bottom pelt here, it gets really cold. You can see here, there's some serious ice here uh, accumulating on the, on, on, the, on the plate. Now, in winter, uh, sorry, in, in the, uh, when it was humid here in the summer, this thing was icing like crazy. It can be left unattended because it will ice ice up, it will create a huge chunk of ice. So every maybe half an hour it needs to be shut down, ice has to be cleaned off or melted. It melts pretty quickly and then we power it again, again and imaging started. You can see here it's catching quite a bit of these uh, dark ECC areas uh, and it's reading them. But this drive will require multiple passes, so we're going to be, be here for quite a while. Luckily, we have multiple ports. And if you get more SSDs coming in that don't require the Peltier at the, at the time, uh, we're going to be able to finish this. Let's look at the SSD here. You can see there is a definite improvement. Uh, just a minute ago, before I um, turned the camera on, it was flying through pages and pages uh, of just tuning from the dark green into light green. So, I mean, this cooling method does work. It just, I don't think it's getting cold enough still. So, well, I'm still looking at a better solution than this. Okay, so it's been a few days since I've been using uh, these thermal pads. You know, so they're, they're wearing out, they're not very good. Um, so, I figured, uh, let's try something different. So, then I tried uh, the thermal compound, the Noctua, and TH1. It's okay. The problem with this one is it keeps leaving residue and you have to stop this, um, this unit every say half an hour to 40 minutes because it gets too much um, ice build up on here and then ice ends up on the SSD. I have to figure out a different way to protect the SSD from, uh, uh, from moisture too because it is an electronic part. We don't want to have moisture on it too. So that's another thing I have to figure out. Uh, but yeah, so then I figured, gotta try something different. So then I found these ones on Amazon 
Let me see if I can zoom in. So you can see how thin, how thin these thermal pads are. So this is like a thermal uh, tape, super thin. So this will actually work a lot better than uh, this gum stuff that I've been using. This stuff, this stuff is now, it's you can use it a few times before it gets damaged and it's just useless. So uh, I'm gonna try this stuff. I'm gonna put it on the SSD and I'm gonna see how this thing works. So I, I cut a small piece of it. So I'm just gonna put it over one of the chips. And if I can peel it here, I don't have any nails right now, but uh, I can't really see what I'm doing. But let's see if we can get this backing off. There we go. Probably should be using tweezers for this. Not an exact knife. Let me get my tweezers here. So let's just peel this back. Let me put my finger here to hold it down. So I'm peel it off. Okay, well, this thing is sticking to my finger instead of the, kind of, instead of the chips, but it's okay. Once it's on here, I'm gonna slap it onto the, uh, the pelt here, and then we should be back in business. Okay, so we got thermal pads on both sides. We're gonna peel the tape off. And now we can slap this guy onto the pelt here. Of course, we'll need some pressure on here as well. And then I'm putting the, the crappy pelt here right on top. And this one, this guy has to go on an angle because we wanna catch as much surface as possible. There we go. And a nice weight. Blam. And then we can switch it on and we can continue imaging. Yeah, it's running. So now we're just gonna wait for it to cool down and then I'm gonna resume uh, imaging in P3000. <clears throat> anyway, that's it for this video. This is just a short update to the Peltier video I made a month and a half ago. I just wanted to show uh, the new an improved setup for cooling SSDs. Still not finished, I'm still looking for, for a better solution. Ideally, it would be to stick this SSD into some liquid nitrogen and that would make a huge difference. Uh, or maybe putting it in um, on dry ice, that would be another option. Uh, so if that works, then we maybe we'll look into that. Uh, but right now, I think minus 10 is the best we can do with this pelt here. Uh, but I am exploring other options. And on that note, I'll see you in the next video.